Hey everyone, it's Justine, and today I'm going to show you how to make this easy pastel watercolor card. And I'm going to be using a few different stamp sets here. The Mirror Mirror stamp set from Ellen Hudson, as well as the Bohemian Flowers stamp set and coordinating dies, and the My Favorite Things watercolor wash cardstock. I'm going to show you how to create a fun watercolor card without having a watercolor. And it's just going to be quick, simple, and easy. I keep all of my paper packs in some plastic folders and I print out the printable guide from the My Favorite Things website whenever I buy one of these paper packs. And these are available on the Ellen Hudson website. And I stick all of the leftover pieces sort of in the front here so that I don't lose them. And I work from those sheets first before opening up new sheets and full sheets of cardstock. So I'm going to be stamping each one of these pieces of color cardstock with various images from the Bohemian stamps as well, or the Bohemian flowers rather, and the Mirror Mirror stamp set. So I just made a bunch of different kinds of colors and I stamped a bunch of images. Whether I end up using them in the end or not is different when I arrange them afterwards. So I like to stamp out lots of different images and use them for future cards if I don't use them now. I'm stamping each one of these images using some Versamark ink because I'm going to end up embossing them. And I'm sticking them off to the side so I can do each of the embossing steps at once. So I do all my stamping first and it does stay sticky quite long so I'm able to add the embossing powder later without any issues. Sometimes I had to readjust stamps if I was stamping multiple images. So I just went ahead on some peach, orange, blue, green, pink and purple cardstock here in order to get a nice variety of colors. And the leaves I ended up stamping on all four corners just to make things quick and easy with stamping. I didn't have to readjust on my misty at all just by stamping the different corners of the cardstock. And so I'm just finishing up here all of the different images and as I said I didn't end up using all of them but I did want to create different images for different cards for later. This here is the image stamp from Mirror Mirror and it's a really fun frame that has these little circles on it. So I'm just going to add embossing powder to each one of these images here. I always flick my cardstock to get off any excess embossing powder and then I'm going to melt that with a heat tool. So once I use my heat tool here I always leave it off to the side for about 30 to 40 seconds before I start applying it to my paper to get the least amount of warpage as possible and get the heat at the maximum temperature. And you can see just how quickly it melts the embossing powder. So I melted all of the images here and then I went ahead and I cut them out using coordinating dies. I did that off screen because if you don't know how die cutting works, I have a ton of videos that show it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the You Are Beautiful here on a separate sheet of Nina Solar White cardstock. And I'm going to cut this using a stitch circle die as well. That is slightly smaller than the stitch circle die I used to cut out the mirror mirror frame. So now I have two beautiful circles here that I can layer on top of each other as a frame. I'm going to add some Tombow Mono liquid adhesive to the back of my cardstock and I'm going to attach this onto my card to start off the frame and the different areas that I'm going to be creating. The You Are Beautiful circle I am going to attach with some 3M foam tape and that is so I'm able to slip all of the flowers underneath into a fun collage. So I just pre-arranged all the flowers here and I like to use Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive because if I don't push down very hard on the cards I'm able to still pull them up because it takes it's liquid it takes a little bit longer to dry so I'm able to rearrange if there's something I really don't like in the end but I'm sure all these flowers are going to look just fine. Under each of the flowers I like to sleep, slip little bits of leaves and foliage in there to just bulk up the card and you can even add a flower on top of a flower to get a different variety of colors and a different variety of texture and depth. So I managed to put that all together and then I added it to a card base that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. I used 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock, slightly thicker than the card panel I glued everything onto. And now I'm going to go ahead and just add some Nouveau Drops. I love Nouveau Drops. I think they're so great. And the op 
opaque ones are really, really bold and beautiful, but these are the Jewel Nouveau drops, which are very transparent. So when they dry, you still get that clear look. And I love using them with pastel style colors, spring cards, flowers, and just to add little touches here and there without them being too obvious. So I went along the entire frame, both on the top and the bottom to add those. And if you make mistakes, I honestly, a lot of people say, you know, I, I don't get them in a perfect circle or I get little peaks on them. I have a peak on one of them and I have a not perfect circle on two of them. And really when the card is done, it looks so beautiful that you'll never notice. All right, I did want to mention that this card tutorial is also a part of the Ellen Hudson Get to Know the Design Team blog hop. So be sure to check out my blog hop by going to my link below in the video description. You can see all the supplies as well as some fun facts about myself and you can go ahead and hop and see what the rest of the team has created and we'll get to know them a little bit. I will be creating a video once a month for the Ellen Hudson channel so that might be something you want to subscribe to as well thanks so much everyone for watching my video today i have a video suggestion there for you as well as the subscribe button to both my channel and the ellen hudson one thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend Bye bye